Today I'm going to be replacing or installing the Rain Expert Fit Beam Blade Technology Wipers on a Kia Sorento 2014. I bought these wipers on Amazon for $10.47 each. You know, not a bad price. I will be putting a link to that in the video description below so that you can, uh, you know, purchase them or uh, look at the reviews or actually look at all the specs for the wiper itself. These are beam technology wipers. They're uh, basically uh, made to replace other beam technology wipers. So if that's what you have on your vehicle, that's what you're going to need. And on the Kia Sorento, by the way, the 2014, no matter what wiper you get, you're going to have to have a 24 inch and a 20 inch. The 24 inch is for the driver's side and the 20 inch inches for the passenger side. Uh, these have some uh, really nice features to them. They have a uh, an airfoil on the back side of the wiper and that's uh, that's designed to keep the wiper blade pressed down to the windshield at higher speeds. So um, you know nice perf performance feature there and the locking mechanism is quite uh, well designed and robust and I'll go over the uh, features on this wiper uh, as well as the locking mechanism and I'll show you how to put those on the Kia Sorento um, uh, you know after I've shown you all that so next I'm going to show you the specifications that they spec for this wiper I wanted to quickly show you the packaging and what it says uh, as far as the uh, fits these wiper arms and it says small J hooks 8 by 3 and large uh, J hooks uh, 9 by 4 I'm not sure what that means, but I know for sure they fit the Kia Sorento 2014. So uh, that much I can tell you. So next I'm going to show you the uh, locking mechanism. And after that, I'll mount them on the uh, vehicle and show you how to do that. All right, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the locking mechanism. Uh, it's much easier to show you how it functions uh, here on the table than it is on the actual uh, arm while I'm installing it. Uh, hopefully this will help you install the wiper a little easier. Um, construction on these wipers is, uh, you know, appears to be quite good. Quality seems to be quite nice, so I don't see any problem with uh, durability with these, but uh, time will tell. Now, uh, here's the locking features. Uh, we have a, a locking door here or a locking latch, and it needs, it needs to be uh, uh, lifted up to, to unlock and allow the arm to be slipped on to the actual secondary locking clip there. Now, uh, I'm going to use a screwdriver to open that up. And if uh, you got fingernails long enough to get under there, maybe, maybe that'll work. But the screwdriver is the easiest. Okay, so that's it. You just uh, un you know pry it up and it clips off. Um, putting the wiper on, it goes around the, this locking clip here. Let's see if I can give you a better angle on that. There we go. This locking clip, it basically hooks on around it and goes back this way. And I will show you how to do that on the actual wiper arm itself. But after you're done. Uh, hooking that on correctly your last you know your next move is to just click that down and lock it down and it locks down nicely I think it's a, a great locking uh, mechanism for a wiper I don't see that coming off uh, anytime soon or by accident now we're ready to mount the actual uh, uh, wipers I've already removed the uh, trico force wipers I had before on these arms and you'll notice one thing and I can't stress this enough is that I have a towel underneath the wiper arms uh, and I put that there after I removed the wipers uh, for one reason one reason only these arms are uh, spring loaded okay so basically once you have them up they're like they're, they're you know ready to snap if if you accidentally hit them and have them uh, strike the windshield they can hit the windshield hard enough to crack it uh, or scratch it and, uh, and when you're moving these a little bit, the other, you know, one of the arms can actually move the other arm a little bit against the glass and scratch it as well. So take a towel, fold it over like I have it here, and leave it on the windshield until you're done. Uh, primarily for safety reasons. And when you're handling the wiper, keep your hand on the wiper because, you know, regardless, you don't want this snapping down on your windshield and cracking it, okay? So that's why the towel's here. I recommend you do that. Next, I'm going to show you how to mount the actual uh, uh, Anko uh, wipers on the windshield and the we're going to start with the uh, 24 inch on the on the driver's side to fit the Rain-X expert fit uh, wiper on the driver's side uh, it's basically uh, once you've got the uh, old wiper off is fit well make sure that the uh, lock on the uh, wiper is actually in the release position put it in put the wiper uh, from the top down through the hook 
like so. So basically like that. And then push it all the way up until you can't, until it, until it sort of snaps in a little bit. It's got the, a nice uh, locking feature uh, once you get it in correctly. And then put the locking door down like that and click it in. And then that's, uh, that installation is complete. Now if this door doesn't close correctly, you, do, you haven't uh, pulled the wiper all the way to the end of the hook. Uh, just take it off, put it back in again, and make sure that you pull it in that direct, push it in that direction until it clicks into the hook on the wiper. And then this door uh, or lock should uh, go down really easily and click down. Really like the locking mechanism on these Rain-X uh, Expert Fit uh, beam wipers. The passenger side of the Rain Expert Fit beam uh, wiper is exactly the same as, as the driver's side. So take the uh, wiper with the lock open, slide it underneath the hook, and uh, push it in this direction until you hear it uh, actually engage all the way, like so, and close the lock over top of it. If you can't close the lock over top of it correctly, you haven't or pull the, the wiper up uh, to the hook as far as you need to. Don't force this uh, door down as you might damage it. So if the door doesn't click down like I just showed you, uh, take the wiper off, put it back on again, and make sure you bring it all the way to a full stop in that direction so it's really held on nice and tight. And that's how you install the Rain Expert uh, Expert Fit, sorry, the Rain X Expert Fit Beam Technology Wiper on a Kia Sorento. 2014. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.